Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to tell you how you can move to Italy completely for free using the scholarship study visa route. The intake periods are February and September each year and if your family income is not that high, Italy has introduced a number of scholarships through almost all universities which you can use to study and work in Italy and later on they also open doors to other countries in Europe as well. Unlike other countries which need you to go back to your home country after you complete your study course, Italy will now allow you to stay back and look for work for a whole year so that's a huge advantage. You'll be allowed to work part time while studying where you can earn around 700 euros per month and get a full time job after your study course ends and earn upwards of 3000 euros per month as well. The best part is that the application process is very simple online and there's a dedicated website to apply for your visas and it's really simple to do. I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do later on. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about the scholarship and other study programs you can apply for, the advantages of moving to Italy, the expenses as a student in Italy, part-time job opportunities and full-time job prospects after your study course ends, average salaries for both part-time and full-time jobs, the one-year long post-study work visa you'll get after your course ends, the proof of funds required, the requirements for an Italy student visa and a step-by-step -step website demonstration on how you can find your study courses and apply for them directly online so do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and answer all your queries in the comment section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Let me directly start with the advantages of moving to Italy. Italy is the ninth largest economy in the world, make it considerably great for education and work prospects for potential immigrants. The Italian passport is the second strongest passport in the world, sharing the place with France, Germany, Japan and Spain. The passport will give you visa-free access to 192 destinations in the world, which is great for those who like to travel for both leisure and work purposes. You can get your Italian passport after applying for citizenship after living and working in Italy for 10 years, but you can get your permanent residence much faster after just 5 years. Although the official language is Italian, most people in Italy, especially in the busy cities, understand and speak English as well, so you won't face much of a language barrier. There are a huge number of universities in Italy, more than 100 to be precise, offering numerous study programs and out of these, 41 are ranked in the QS World Ranking, which is an annual publication that ranks universities globally based on academic reputation, employer reputation, faculty to student ratio, citations per paper, among a few other factors. Unlike other countries that offer scholarships to only those candidates with the highest academic scores, the scholarships in Italy can be offered to even candidates with lower academic scores or grades which makes Italy much more accessible to everyone. Even if you don't get a scholarship, the education in Italy is otherwise quite affordable anyway. There are also plenty of job opportunities available in popular cities like Rome, Milan and Florence for careers in IT, banking, fashion, finance and engineering and even other sectors like agriculture, tourism and hospitality as well. Compared to other Western European countries, Italy can be much more cost effective where you can enjoy a balanced lifestyle with a focus on family and leisure. Now for the expenses as a student in Italy, which is a major concern since you'll have to see if you can actually survive financially in Italy during your study period, which is especially concerning if you don't get a scholarship. The average expenses for a student in Italy is around 500 to 700 euros, which includes everything like their rent, groceries, utilities, etc. Most students in Italy fund their stay with part-time jobs or internships and move on to better positions in the same companies after finishing their study course. Even these part-time jobs easily cover the 500 to 700 euros needed per month and some jobs even pay higher than that. After finishing your study course, the average salaries for full-time jobs in Italy is between 2000 to 3000 euros per month and the cost of living is low so you can save a lot of your salary. Also a worthy mention is that Italy has recently announced the one year long post study work visa which will give you a whole year to search for a full time job in Italy after your study course ends. Now how does this help you? Unlike other countries which need you to go back to your home country after you complete your study course, this visa lets you stay back and look for work for one year. This gives you a great opportunity to potentially extend your stay and opens your possibilities towards PR and citizenship as well. Coming to the proof of funds required. 
Remember that if you get a scholarship, although your study courses will be free, you will still need to have money in your account for living expenses like rent, groceries, utilities, etc., for which you'll have to show at least 6,000 to 8,000 euros per year, depending on the university and course you choose. Remember that this money will always be yours to spend. You just have to show that you have these funds at your disposal as and when you need them. Moreover, if the scholarship amount offered to you is high enough, then it can even cover your living expenses so your stay in Italy can then become completely for free. Now we come to the requirements for an Italy student visa. Among the essential documents, you need a valid passport with at least two blank pages and it should be valid for at least three months after your intended departure from Italy. Next, you'll need a letter of acceptance from a recognized Italian university or institution, completed visa application form available from the Italian embassy or consulate, proof of financial means that demonstrates sufficient funds to cover your living expenses in Italy, medical insurance that covers your medical expenses in Italy, proof of accommodation such as rental agreement or dormitory placement, language proficiency which would include proof of Italian or English language skills. Now this may be asked depending on the university or study course. Many universities actually don't need this. Criminal record certificate or PCC from any country you spent a long time in. Passport size photographs according to the Italian visa photo specifications. Visa free payment receipt. Now for the additional documents which may be required for a few universities, you'll need academic transcripts from previous institutions, proof of enrollment or pre-enrollment which I'll explain later, a declaration of value or DOV for academic qualifications and a notarized parental consent if you're under 18 years of age. Now for the important part which is how you can apply for your visa. As I explained earlier, you can apply for yourself easily on the official website universeitaly.it where you can get all your information in English. If you scroll below, you'll find information to help you which region to study in Italy, what courses you can study, what you need to do as you step foot in Italy as a student, details about the Italian education system and very importantly, the scholarships offered as well. If you scroll further below, you'll see that there are almost 300 universities you can apply to that are providing 9,000 study programs for you to choose from. To browse through which study programs are available, just click on what to study option here and you can then select your study interests whether they are computer science, earth science, agriculture, civil engineering, history, economics, and even music. If you scroll below, you'll see all the courses available and there are a lot of them. As you can see here, there are more than 500 pages of these courses. So you'll definitely find one that interests you. Links to apply directly to the universities are listed here, which will take you directly to the university websites. For instance, if we click on visit course for this dentistry course here, You'll get the complete details you'll need about the study course, including the job opportunities you'll get after completing the course, how the semesters are divided, the intake periods. For instance, there are two intake periods in a year in Italy, one in February and one in September. So you'll still have one month to register yourself. You'll get information about the dental lab you'll have access to, complete requirements about the admission for both EU and non-EU citizens and your complete study plan and syllabus as well. To apply for this course, you'll have to click this link and follow the instructions on the dedicated page and pay the test registration fee. You'll also need a few other documents for your application like your CV, cover letter, SOP letter, letter of recommendation, work experience certificates if you've worked before and maybe even an IELTS test report. However, there are a lot of universities in Italy that don't demand an IELTS test. You may also need a TOLC online test that assesses the education background of prospective university students. After you provide all the required documents to your university and pay the course fee, if it's not a scholarship, then you'll get your admission letter or acceptance letter from your university. You'll have to now go again on the University Italy website and pre-enroll for your course. This is basically a confirmation of your selection for the study course after which you'll get another confirmation letter which you'll need for your student visa application. To apply for your student visa, simply go to VFS Global, select where you're applying from and select Italy as your destination and click on take me to the website where you can find information on your visa, book a visa appointment, find a visa center near you and information to submit your visa application. For your visa appointment, make sure to take all your documents, photographs and your bank statements along for the past 6 months and ensure that your funds are stable in the account for that period. Alright guys, so that was all about studying in Italy. For more migration and travel tips, do subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for new updates. Thanks for watching and all the best for your application.